What is good YouTube? It's your boy down back here with another build video man and today I got y'all with one of my favorite builds from last year's 2k. I understand last year's 2k wasn't all that but listen I found one of my favorite builds again from last year which is the glass cleaning shot creator man at the power forward position. The build is pretty fun to play on man. With that being said we can go over the body settings for this build. So you're gonna go 2.01 meters 98 kilograms for the weight we're going 2.13 meters for the wingspan and the built body type is the one i'm gonna choose but hey man you can choose anything it's up to you man sorry we can get started with the finishing this build will be pretty good at finishing i'm not gonna lie to you man it's gonna be pretty decent at finishing and honestly pretty decent at everything else as well but with this we do want to get a 60 on the close shot we're gonna go 89 with the driving layup, the driving dunk, we're gonna take that up to a 90. And I know, you're missing just a little bit by not going up to a 92. But hey man, you ain't missing out on that much. There's just a few dunks you ain't gonna get. Standing dunk, we're gonna leave that alone. And then for the post control, we are going to go up to an 81. I know that's a little bit of an odd number, but look at that right there. We get 23 of those dunk on everybody badges. You know what I'm saying? Those green posterizer get busy badges but all right so mid-range we're gonna take that up to an 85 which is gonna be up to that level man you're gonna you're gonna get that sniper on hall of fame the most important badge anyway you can get it on hall of fame now for the free throw we're gonna take that up to a 70 if you want to use this build for rec with that 70 free throw you will be good to go man ain't gonna be too much issue with you going to the line people gonna think you probably can't shoot anyway so with the pass accuracy, we can go up to a 76. And you do get a silver bullet passer. And that's probably the lowest level that I would I would tell you to have it on. You know, at least silver. Bronze is kind of tough. I'm not going to lie to you. It's kind of tough to operate with a um, bullet passer on bronze. But with the silver, you won't have any issues. Now for the ball handle, we will go up to an 84, which is going to have you with that quick first step at a pretty decent level. I'm not quick first step but uh it's gonna get you those uh, pro dribble moves that you want oh so much you know what i'm saying on pretty much any build that can get those pro dribble moves is is better with them like if you can get it on the build i would say go ahead and do your thing try to get them um it just makes the build better for it and for defense it is going to be a lot of defense on this build you're going to be able to play on the perimeter as well as on the interior but with that being said we are not going to put interior on the build um, pretty much you can get away with not having an interior if your block is high enough and with that being said We are going to max out the block at 81 perimeter D We're gonna put that up to an 86 and still we're gonna put it at a 77 With the with the rebounding we're gonna go up to an 86 For the defensive rebound we're gonna take the offensive rebound up to an 84 Normally, I wouldn't even too much care about the offensive rebound because I'm saying you probably won't be down there But this build, you know is a lob threat you can you know throw them lobs up if you have a point guard with a little bit of iq you can probably get those lobs off at a high level but you know if you don't um he still has pretty decent driving dunk and with the dribble moves you'll be able to get open um with with a little bit of a little bit of shake and bake then get down there so you can flush that thing uh we are going to go up to an 80 with the uh with the actual vertical so you do get a lot of those contact dunks that you want and you know as long as you're above 85 you can get decent dunks all right we're gonna go over some of these badges man normally i would go test the build but i'm just show you on here some of the badges you can get uh you see we do get a lot of the finishing badges um we get a lot of the finishing badges on different levels but hall of fame ones i'm really not worried about any of the ones that we can get on hall of fame i'm more so looking at all of the ones we can get on gold so slithery obviously posterizer obviously uh limitless takeoff that one's up to you but i, I like to have it on and then lob city i'll say this build will probably be one of the best builds to have lob city on because you're not necessarily a short power forward but you know you can still kind of get around run to the rim kind of attack this build is great for the hash um and speaking of the hash might as well get into the shooting um obviously we're gonna want to catch a shoot kind of high uh sniper that's a must uh, slippery off ball i like to have it on at least bronze because this is one of those popper builds you can set screens and pop out and uh you know help out your point guard a little bit uh catch and shoot blinders those are must 
Um, you already know Sniper, Dead Eye, that's pretty good. But if you want to use this build to sit in a corner, you actually can because you can get corner specialists up to four, I mean up to uh, gold, which only costs you four batch points, which ain't too bad. But if you want to use it on a hatch, you can also get Limitless Spot up. And if you feel like you don't have enough shooting badges, you know there's always that six you get from uh, the Rebirth. You know, so the four from college and then the two from hitting 39. I'm assuming you grind if you're still looking at uh, build videos at this time of the year. You know, it's getting close to Christmas. You know what I'm saying? You probably done played at least two seasons. And if you're grinding, you can, you can definitely get this build knocked out. Now it's time for the playmaking. Um, I like to have on any of my, like specifically all ball builds, I like to have uh, glue hands up a pretty decent amount, man. Um, if you do plan on dribbling a lot, try to use handles for days. Quick first step, that's easy, of course. Uh, hyperdrive, that one's up to you. If you're going to use this build as more of a driver, then yeah, I would say put hyperdrive on. But if you're not, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, space creator would be solid on this build. Obviously, we're going to put, we're going to have that bullet passer on there. That That's easy. Bullet passer is always going to be on there and unpluggable because I do feel like, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I feel like they may have done something to, to defense as a whole. Um, it seems like people get a lot more plucks than they used to. So if I were you, I would make sure that you have unpluckable on as high as you can get it on your build. And for this one, that's silver, so I'd put on silver. And now, uh, time for the last badge category. One of my favorite, you know what I'm saying? The defense. All builds need defense. I feel like, you know, the defense, like I said, I feel like they did a little something to it. Um, this build is not like a primary rebounder, but I would put rebound chaser on if you if you don't have like a crazy dominant center that you run with, or if you're just running with randoms. Uh, this build shouldn't get stuck at the five. It should never get stuck at the five because you know everybody makes centers. Uh, but I will put clamps on. Uh, this build will be great in one of the corners as far as uh, two three goes because you got the interceptor, you got ball stripper, uh, box intimidator is gonna be good for contesting those shots in the corner. You really won't need pick dodge or anything like that, but uh, chase down artists. That's definitely something you want to have on to stop those fast breaks. But with that being said, we can go ahead and continue with the build. I'm going to show you um, the takeovers that this build gets, which aren't bad. You know, you get pretty much all the offensive takeovers with the exception of slashing. So you get the, uh, the pull-up precision, all these other uh, shot creating takeovers. You do get um, sharp shooting, you get lockdown, and you get... Uh, get the glass cleaning takes i mean it is a glass cleaning shot creator we can go ahead and look at the actual build name look at some of these comparisons you know what i'm saying the glass cleaning shot creator uh shades of harrison barnes miles bridges lebron james those aren't bad comparisons especially that lebron man any build that gets compared to lebron you know it's probably going to be at the very least one of those very versatile builds build that can do a little bit of everything but yeah man that's it for the video i'll catch y'all boys in the next one man it's your boy don I'm up out of here. Make sure you hit that like if you're still in the video. And I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace.